Hi viewers, welcome back to our channel Ravindra for students. In today's video, we are going to see how to find the capacitance of a spherical capacitor. So for this, let us see how will be a spherical capacitor arrangement. So actually it will have two spherically shaped conductors, one surrounding another like this. So here there are two conductors, one is inner conductor. So let us assume the inner conductor is having a radius of small a and the outer conductor is having a radius of small b. Now in this arrangement to have the capacitance what is required is for example if the outer conductor is having four positive charges then the inner conductor should also have four opposite charges that is four negative charges like this then to have the capacitance in this arrangement the medium surrounding these two conductors spherical conductors should have a permittivity uniformly distributed so let us consider that permittivity as epsilon between the conductors and as well as out of the conductors also now we can find the capacitance due to this arrangement using the general formula c equals to q by v c equals to q by v so it is the general formula for any type of capacitor whether it is parallel plate or coaxial or spherical now we are going to find the capacitance of spherical now in this arrangement actually what will happen is so from this positive to negative an electric field e bar will be developed so let us consider so in this particular direction it is the component of electric field as e rho then using this we can find the capacitance of this spherical capacitor like this so in this general formula c equals to q by v so let us calculate first q we can calculate this q using gauss law which is given by double closed integral over s d bar dot ds bar and here we know d bar we can write it as epsilon e bar dot ds bar as it is then here we are having e rho in this spherical arrangement so let us substitute that q is so epsilon in place of e bar we are calculating uh, we are considering first e rho component at a particular direction between one positive charge and one negative charge between two conductors now the remaining we will write it as double integral closed integral over s ds bar now this double closed integral over s ds bar we know it is nothing but the, the surface area of the sphere having a, a radius of rho which is called the gaussian surface so we know it very well while we have seen the applications of gauss law right now so with the radius of rho we know the surface area that is given by 4 pi rho square here the radius is rho so therefore q will get it as epsilon into e rho into so the center double integral over s ds bar is 4 pi rho square then from this we can write only e rho component as q by 4 pi epsilon into rho square or if you want the total electric field between all the positive and negative charges combination in the spherical capacitor so that will be given by e bar equals to q by 4 pi epsilon rho square into the unit vector along the radius of the sphere so that is e rho bar so this is e bar so we got e bar in this spherical arrangement right then so we got this e bar in the process of finding the q in the general formula of c equals to q by v now let us see how to find out v so to find out v we are going to use the relation between v and e bar so we know that it is given by v equals to minus integral over, over l e bar dot dl bar why because here we are having e bar just now we have calculated 
and for this spherical arrangement integral over l so let us consider this as the conductor 1 and this as the conductor 2 the conductor 1 is having the radius of b and the conductor 2 is having the radius of a then this integral over l will become v equals to minus y we are having minus here because it is due to the work done by external agent we know it very well then integral over l becomes integral b to a that is conductor 1 to conductor 2 and e bar is just now we have calculated this is e bar so we are substituting the same here q by 4 pi epsilon rho square into a rho bar and what is the dl bar along rho direction so dl bar is d rho a rho bar so here we have to write dot d rho a rho bar so we know that a rho bar dot a rho bar is 1 then v will be minus integral b to a q by 4 pi epsilon rho square into d rho we will take all the constant terms outside v equals to minus q by 4 pi epsilon are the constants because we, are, we have to integrate with respect to rho so therefore it is minus integral over b to a q by 4 pi epsilon taken outside so what is remaining is 1 by rho square d rho here we have to integrate 1 by rho square d rho so that is given by v equals to minus q by 4 pi epsilon so 1 by rho square it is rho power minus 2 so the integration will get it as minus 1 by rho and the limits from b to a then v equals to minus q by 4 pi epsilon and substituting the limits first upper limit minus lower limit so it is minus 1 by a we are substituting a in place of rho and minus lower limit minus 1 by b right then if we take minus common so v equals to minus q by 4 pi epsilon and taking minus common in this it is 1 by a minus 1 by b and here we have taken minus common to cancel with the already existing minus so finally v equals to q by 4 pi epsilon into 1 by a minus 1 by b and actually what we want is c c is given by q by v so in this we are having both q and v v left hand side so q by v we can write it as 4 pi epsilon divided by the center multiplying factor comes into denominator that is 1 by a minus 1 by b or if you want to simplify further it will be equals to by taking the lcm so you will get in the final numerator as 4 pi epsilon into the lcm a b comes into top then in the denominator we will have b minus a so that equals to c for a spherical capacitor here remember b is greater than a the outer conductor having the radius of b and the inner conductor is having the radius of a b is greater than a so this is the capacitance of a spherical capacitor c equals to 4 pi into a b divided by b minus a